Now on to Mizoram, where a cabinet minister is not only in news, but is also trending on social media. Sports Minister Robert Romavia Royte has announced a cash incentive of 1 lakh rupees to a living parent with, a, with the highest number of children in his constituency to encourage population growth among the demographically small Mizo communities. The reward will be given from his personal capacity and not from the government. Uh, he made this declaration last Sunday at a time when across the nation, there's a buzz about two-child policy. My colleague, Ratnadeep Chaudhary, spoke to the minister. Mr. Royte, we understand that you have announced this reward uh, in a personal capacity and not as a minister uh, in the Mizoram government. But what really triggered you to think on these lines and announce this interesting reward? Mizoram has a very low density of population. It is only 52 persons in a square kilometer compared to 382 persons in a square kilometer at, at the national average. Optimum size of population is vital for economic development of a country, for economic development of a state. We are, fine, we are very much far behind the optimum number of population in case of Mizora. But a sharp increase in population uh, also in future may lead to you know, more stress on resources and given the fact that Mizoram is a state which doesn't have much resources. So how do you look at it? If we have a good and viable economic pol uh, policy, we can convert big population into a big asset. Population, uh, this uh, family planning is a policy. It is not a law. And coercion is not <coughs> possible. Now there is a buzz about the two-child policy that many states are trying to prescribe. Uh, in fact, Assam and UP have decided already that the two-child norm will become part of the welfare schemes as well. So, uh, what is your take on the two-child policy which is uh, making news across the country? I do appreciate that two-child norms or the existing uh, population policy of government of India for the states having high density of population like UP, like Kerala, like Assam and many other states. But as for Mizoram, to reach the required number of optimum population, we need to have more children. I don't feel that prescription of one number or to tell no in the form of policy for all these uh, diversified people and diversified areas may not work properly.